When a baby is born with cytomegalovirus CMV, infection, it is called congenital CMV. Most babies with congenital CMV never show signs or have health problems. However, some babies have health problems at birth or that develop later. It is the leading cause of non-hereditary sensory neural hearing loss and can cause other long-term neurodevelopmental disabilities, including cerebral palsy, intellectual disability, vision impairment, and seizures. The rate of congenital CMV infection range between 0.4 to 5% depending on the area. Maternal CMV infection during pregnancy most often results from close contact with young children, particularly children attending daycare centers. The risk of transmission to the fetus is far higher with primary maternal infection than with recurrent infection. Findings on prenatal ultrasound that may suggest CMV disease in the fetus are usually brain abnormalities. Approximately 10% of neonates with congenital CMV infection have symptoms at birth. Common symptoms at birth are petechiae, jaundice, small size for gestational age, microcephaly, and hearing loss. Hearing loss is detected in one-third to one-half of infants with symptomatic disease, but, in up to one-third of cases, it has delayed onset. Approximately 90% of newborns who are congenitally infected with CMV are apparently asymptomatic at birth. 10 to 15% of these asymptomatic newborns experience hearing loss. By age 18 years, up to 25% experience hearing loss. Approximately 70 to 80% of infants who are symptomatic at birth develop late complications that may include hearing loss, vision impairment, intellectual disability, and delayed psychomotor development, behavioral problems such as inattention and hyperactivity, cerebral palsy and associated scoliosis and or hip dislocation and dysplasia. Diagnosis is made by urine or saliva test and must be made in the first three weeks of life. This is because a positive test after three weeks may indicate postnatal CMV infection and not a congenital infection. Treatment is antiviral therapy for six months and has been shown to improve long-term audiologic and neurodevelopmental outcomes. Want to know more? Watch my channel.